Yes, what is going on guys, in this video we'll be looking at the Ceotec aluminium laptop stand. Let's waste no time and jump right in. Straight out of the box, you get multiple pieces which you'll need to put together to make the stand. This took me 3 minutes tops, after looking at the manual and seeing what fits in what direction. Construction is really simple and honestly the hardest part was reading the manual since the font's a bit small. All you have to do is line up the top hole on the diagonal piece with the top hole on the back piece, then screw that in with the provided screw and hexagonal wrench. Then you can adjust the angle as you please and screw in the thumb screw through the bottom hole. Make sure you set the same angle for both sides and you're done. The thumb screws make it easy to adjust the height and angle whenever you want. I actually only realised this late on, but you don't even need to take out the thumb screw all the way to change the position. On the side, there are small indents which are to help you know what angle you set up. I put mine at the very middle and this allowed me to basically use my laptop as a secondary screen. If you actually want to use the keyboard, then setting it at a lower height would be more useful. Depending on how tight you close the thumb screws though, you might have issues trying to take them out to adjust. I would recommend when building to put them in sort of loosely and test out what is best before tightening the screws. In terms of build quality, the stand is surprisingly sturdy and solid. I tried to see how much pressure you need to bend it and you really need to put a decent amount of force to make it flex. It is made from aluminium so it definitely will hold up with any medium sized laptop like this Huawei Matebook 13. It says it can hold up to a 17 inch laptop but it probably would be uncomfortable to type on. I should also mention that it's a tad heavier than other laptop stands but this is what makes it so sturdy and I think the trade off is worth it. There are rubber pads around the stand for preventing the stand and laptop from moving around easily. Here there are two on the back and one at the end of each leg piece. As long as you aren't intentionally trying to push them, the stands hold up pretty well. For the laptop, there are four pads and the bottom part is sloped upwards to further minimise sliding. So far they've done the job and nothing of issue to note here. It will be interesting to see how they hold up over the long term and see how scratch resistant the stand is. I would recommend this as a stand that you keep in one place and use to prop up your laptop. Add a keyboard and mouse and you'll be good to go. While you could also use it as a portable stand, it is definitely much better suited to a fixed desk style. Hope you enjoyed this video and if you found it helpful, please subscribe for more content. Until next time, don't forget to keep it real.